what do you think about music nowadays? It's just a bunch of something. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Pure Rationality. My name is Son Nguyen and today I will bring you the top 5 most common biases that influence your day-to-day -day thinking process. In this video, I was just barely scratching through the surface of this topic. However, I believe this will be best in helping you to remember, recognize, and bring more awareness into this human psychological tendencies in your daily life. With that being said, if you like the video, please don't hesitate to click on the like button. And if you want to hear and listen to more related topics, also consider clicking on that subscribe button. With that being said, here is the top five most common biases in your daily life. Number one, confirmation bias. Confirmation bias is a phenomena when people favor and actively interpreting information in a way that support and confirm they already hold beliefs or ideas, while at the same time ignoring and rejecting information that doesn't. This is extremely potent when it comes to pushing you off the balance and throw you into an echo chamber where the only true idea is the one that you believe or what you are holding on to. One of the most common places to spot out this bias are in astrology or people usually refer it as you got it right. Horoscope. So do you remember the last time you check on your daily horoscope and it tell you something like something happened today gonna make you feel better? Or do you remember checking on your horoscope and it describe you perfectly as a hardworking person or a caring person? Something of that matter. It's crazy, right? It seems like there's some magic into it. Well, until we figure out the deep, dark truth beneath it. After reading and doing some research into this topic, I figure out, well, there are not much magic involved into this, but it's just a use of confirmation bias in conjunction with a few others. But let's focus on the confirmation bias aspect of this. So let's say, for example, that you read on daily horoscope and it tells something great is gonna happen today. So what happened there? Well, here it's gonna activate your reticular activating system where it's taking charge in pulling your attention into finding whatever you have set out your mind to find. So it's the same thing happen when you just bought a new car or you just bought a new shirt and you go out, you start noticing people having the same thing while before it has never happened. What you have there is an effect of confirmation bias. Number two is availability bias or also known as availability heuristic. Availability bias happen when we think something is true based on the limited amount of information that we have at hand or available to our memory at a specific moment of time. The most common example for this is the shark attack. So whenever there's a shark attack incident happening, it will be reported in the newspaper and television but at the same time, if a person getting killed by coconut falling out of their head, it's never or barely getting reported. The consequence of this is people think it's relatively common and significantly more likely to get killed by shark comparing to coconut. However, the statistics say otherwise. It is said to be 15 times more likely to get killed by coconut falling onto the head comparing to shark attack. So there is this quote that I think it beautifully encapsulates this bias 
by Dale Kahneman in his book Thinking Fast and Slow that I would love to share with you guys here. The quote is, what you see is all there is. Number three, self-serving bias. Self-serving bias is the kind of bias that is commonly attributed to narcissistic personality trait. However, it's not exclusive to them, but we all are susceptible to it. I can't believe you loaned me a car without telling me it had a blind spot. Blind spot. I could have been killed. Now, now, Biff, now, I never noticed that uh, the car had any blind spot before when I would drive it. As his name suggested, self-serving bias is used to serve oneself or to increase one's self-esteem, either through undeservingly taking credit for a positive outcome or blame external factor for negative one. An example that we might be, the majority of us might be familiar with is in the school exam. So there are many students, either we have been there or we know some people who have done that, who when they have a positive or desirable score, they fully attribute it to their hard working. While the contrary happened, they have a tendency to blame it to the teacher that hit them or the test is simply unfair. Surprisingly, this does not only happen to oneself. Well, what do I mean by that? I would love to give examples. As you can see, I love examples. So let's take the example of religions. When something good happens, like a child is born, or you just win a lottery, most people will have the tendency to say, thanks God that this happened, or thank God for my successes. However, when something bad happened, like a, an accident that result in death of someone or diseases happening in the world, nobody kind of mentioned the name of God at all. This phenomena can also be explained through what is called the special pleading fallacy, which I will cover in the future episode. So. If you like to hear about that, remember, click on the subscribe button right now and I will notify you when it comes up. All right, let's move on to the next contender in our list, which is in-group out-group bias or also known as in-group favoritism. This is the phenomena when a person is treated unfairly for the better or worse just because they belong to a specific group. There are an infinite number of groups that one can identify with. However, the most common one that we hear on media news or in different discussion will belong to one of these below. So either is class, gender, race, political viewpoint, or sport. Let's take for example in politics. What would you do or think when you happen to figure it out your friends support Trump? So in these scenarios, if you also support Trump, it would be fine. Probably you will have great discussion and your friendship would be more close needed. However, if you happen to support the other side and then you kind of feel disgust just by hearing his name, Trump, then what happened is you're going to see your friend under a pretty different light, even though fundamentally your friend is still the same person. All right, time to move on to the last but also my favorite bias of them all the declinism or decline bias. I bet we all have been to those gathering with friends where we sit down and be the nostalgic uncles and aunties talking about how great it was back in the days and how horrible everything have turned out to be. If that is the case, you have been influenced by decline bias. So in a nutshell, decline bias is the tendency to see 
the past as significantly more positive comparing to the present and its trajectory into the future. Let's take for example, you remember the day when music was actually good? Like in the 80s or in the 90s, where rap music, their lyrics, is mean something. What do you think about music nowadays? It's just a bunch of something. You know? I don't know, man. Kids nowadays, they don't know what good music is. It's just horrible. I cannot see the future of music in the next 10 years. It must be disaster. It's disastrous. Anyway, that is it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have learned something new today, or at least you had a get a better understanding on what these bias are. Please leave a comment below and tell me what is the bias that tend to influence you the most in your day-to-day -day life? Or is there any other bias that deserve more attention than the five that I listed above? With that being said, thank you so much again and I will see you in the next episode.